eyes to see it all firsthand. Voices to broadcast the news. Cameras to record the facts. Hands to write it all into history. From all over the world, reporters and editors, commentators and cameramen have come to witness another of America's experiments in space, Project Mercury. All news media have had full access to the program because in a democratic society, failures are known as well as successes. Project Mercury is a program of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, a civilian agency of the United States responsible for space research and exploration for peaceful purposes to benefit all mankind. This experiment was designed to test a man's ability to carry out useful activities in a weightless space environment. At Cape Canaveral, Florida, the press of the world was completely briefed beforehand. An astronaut in a spacecraft was to be hurled 115 miles into space and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, landing in the Atlantic Ocean 300 miles away. And most important, he was to actually have control of his spacecraft for a portion of his 15-minute flight. Astronaut Alan Shepard's adventure in space began early in the morning. Tank cars fueled the tall, slender redstone launching vehicle with liquid oxygen and alcohol. Shepard was taken in this specially equipped transfer van to the launching site. Here he gets a good look at the rocket, another step in man's attempts to reach the moon and beyond. He carries his own portable cooling unit to keep him cool while outside the spacecraft. Accompanied by the astronaut's personal physician, Shepard enters the elevator which will take him to the spacecraft. Each of the astronauts selected was an experienced test pilot and graduate engineer. The spacecraft was named Freedom 7 by the seven astronauts, who together went through two years of rigorous and highly technical training. Fellow astronaut John Glenn makes a final check of the interior. Astronaut Virgil Grissom wishes Shepard good luck. Engineers remove the protective overshoes. Sensitive instruments were taped to his body to record his reactions during the flight. And now into the craft to be strapped into the special couch and begin his wait for the liftoff. The countdown takes three hours and 24 minutes, and Shepard takes a very active part in the exacting check of the equipment. Now the gantry moves back. The countdown goes on. Liftoff at 9.34 a.m. Roger, 
The trajectory is perfect. Shepard climbs higher, following a flight path that will take him 115 miles up and 300 miles downrange. The booster burns out at 200,000 feet, and the escape tower is jettisoned. Seconds later, the craft separates from the rocket. Shepard reports taking over the manual controls, and though he is now weightless, he reports no difficulties. Still using manual controls, he fires his deceleration rockets, after which he puts the craft into the re-entry position. He reports his parachutes open, and he is descending. At exactly 15 minutes after liftoff, Shepard is back to Earth, having experienced five minutes of weightless flight. Recovery Force helicopters were standing by in the impact area. Shepard emerges and is lifted into the helicopter. Pilot and spacecraft are returned to the carrier Lake Champlain. Many branches of the U.S. government assisted the space agency in this experiment. He is in high spirits and shows no sign of weariness. The astronaut stops to retrieve his space helmet and then goes below for a preliminary medical checkup. Shepard is flown to Grand Bahama Island. He is met by his jubilant colleagues and medical personnel. Through intensive examination and questioning, they will determine what has been learned by this experiment in space. All knowledge gained will be made available for the benefit of the entire world. Project Mercury is only one of many steps in sending a man into space, an international effort carried out with the cooperation of many nations. From these launching pads at Cape Canaveral, more space experiments will go forth, milestones toward man's better understanding and mastery of the space environment.